but yeah, no, they would always assume that I'm doing something related to fashion. Because uh, naturally, I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Making Sense with Gopinho. This is where we will talk about random thoughts on random topics. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of our podcast. Um, as always, I'm your host, Calvinio. Um, today, we will have a, a special topic that I haven't really come across before. It's not about friendship, it's not about um, COVID, uh, but it's more into um, a particular industry. Um, but before that, let us introduce our guest for today. And that is Miss Jadel Alipio. <laughs> hello. My library. Hello, hello. In, in her library. <laughs> so she's Okay, I have a horrible background. I'm still living at my mom's and uh, whilst I'm waiting for my house to be all sorted out. So So you're currently in the library. Um... I'm currently in the library of my mom's <laughs> house. <laughs> Oh, well, how are you? Um, I know it must be so tough filming in your library, but you know, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm well. I'm good. Um, yeah, so for all of you viewers or listeners who uh, don't know, um, I actually play games with Jadel here. <laughs> um, playing games with my heart. <laughs> that's her... Uh, we're not gonna go to her to to that topic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, you know, tell me um more about uh tell me about more about you and um you know what are you doing at the moment, and uh, maybe what is what is your relation relation with STEM? Oh, okay. So that is the topic of the podcast. So I am a computer science graduate. And I've been working in the software tech industry. Um, one of the lucky ones that were able to get a job after graduation. Well, before even I graduated and before I even had my final exams, I had my, my job already. So I'm very proud of that. Um, and I had the opportunity to uh, dip into many different roles within the software tech industry. So I was able to find what I wanted and what my passion was. And here we are uh, working, sure. managing a software company for um, the European countries. Wow. Um, I did work my way up here. It's not, it's not easy. And being a woman in STEM made it even more difficult. That's... Yeah. That's like mind blowing, you know how all the things that you just you've just said. But um, <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Did, you know? Oh, I was gonna say, did you know actually fact? Um, before I got this job, I interviewed for Spotify. Oh, really? and um, they wanted me, and. I mean, I was, I was so like, I was so ready to take it, but yeah. um, I just felt like it wasn't a good career move for me because I'd be doing the same thing as I was doing for my previous company, but for a completely different product. So, um, oh, so you just want to ex- do uh, different experiences, something different, learn something new. And this one had a management role, leadership role, yeah. and that's what I wanted to develop. Oh, that, yeah, that, that is really cool. Um, 
before we go on to you know more details, um, there are some people who don't know what STEM stands for. Uh, maybe we can touch upon that. So can okay. you tell us what what is STEM? What, what is STEM? STEM? It's and not. What, this is, <laughs> it's, not get, like no, oh, okay. it's not part of the plant. No, it's not part of the plant. It's not stem cells. Sorry but for related the plant. to that. <laughs> Sorry for the plant details, but it's not part of the plant. <laughs> um, well, I was going to say you could already be working at a STEM industry, and STEM really stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, so if you work in any of those areas, you are part of STEM. Nice. I was part of STEM. I didn't even know. Exactly. You're part of STEM. And it's important because I actually have stats um, with me. So here are the facts. Um, 35 to um, 100, if you think that's stats, that's kind of low. 35 to over 100 um, female students only take core STEM subjects in school. So out of those 100 people, only 35 of them would take like a maths or science related subject or IT related subject. And um, the one with the lowest percentage is my industry, which is computer science. Yeah, I remember back in uni, um, I'm not saying it's the same for everyone, but it is just my for me. Um, because I went to a computer science. Um, uh, you did? Trade. Yeah. But more into creative science. Um, there's, there's few, there's few women there, but a majority are us males. Um, now I can I can confirm that like you know that that is true because I have come across it. Uh, you know I've experienced it. I know you've told us what STEM stands for. I can you tell us what jobs could be in the STEM industry? So you could be a maths a mathematician, a maths teacher. You could be in the physical sciences. So like PE and sports science. You could be in, um, which is the other one, the social science is yeah. what mainly the women are on or like in the hospitals as nurses um, or you're in the IT technicians um you're an engineer in electrical chemical like my brother um software engineering again in my in my industry um those are the kind of jobs you would expect in STEM so with your um th- uh, what would it like working in, in the industry in STEM? do you um, like it do you... I love it I mean, yeah, it, it's it's challenging and it's it's great. Um, but you know what's funny is that I never noticed the um, the gap until now because mm-hmm. I did IT in school and we had a, 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 an option to do IT professional in school where that's where really the passion grew because I built my own PC when I was um, thirteen. Wow. Okay. When I was 13, I built my own PC. The, the school gave us parts and they said, um, we're going to teach you how to build one. And then I built my own PC and they let me take it home. And I called it Larry Jr. They let you take it home as well. Wow. Yeah, they let me take it home. So um, back then we couldn't afford to buy yeah. a lot of laptops for the family. So I um, built my own PC from the school parts and they let me take it home. So I was on MSN in my, in my Larry Jr. <laughs> Larry Jr. Love the name. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that sounds really cool. Yeah. So I was going to point out that um, it's more, more important now to raise these kind of topics because it still hasn't improved over time. Yeah, I mean, to be, to be honest, um, you know, especially in the age that we are in, I feel like STEM is like, it's becoming like, what, the vital... So important. Yeah, in industry, is, you know, especially that we... The, the modern technology is moving so fast, um, meaning, 
you know, also science is moving far as well, you know, like medicine and stuff. Um, I mean, can you imagine how quickly they did the vaccine for COVID? Exactly. You know, it's, 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 it's improved. So I think, yeah, like what you said, it's very important. But the gap is so big. Yeah, there shouldn't yeah. be any. The gap like, is so big. Yeah. But I don't know what it is. Is it because, like, you know how they said that um, there, are, there are certain things that while you're growing up, like they said, if you're um, into uh, Lego mm -hmm. uh, and you played with Lego when you were young, you're more of a logical thinker. Yeah. And that's yeah, why you're that. more susceptible to wanting and loving subjects in STEM because it's all about problem solving whereas women you know were drawn to Barbies and I guess so yeah I think I know what you're saying what you're saying because um uh well I would say it's an old thinking right um because obviously it's getting it's improving um but the the old thoughts are if you if you know, boys will play games and girls are more into learning how to housekeep or mm. doing... But do you think it's a turn-off, Calvin? Do you think it's a turn-off if, like, a woman isn't as domesticated? No, because... What, like, you mean, like, what, cooking and doing that? Yeah, like, what if... Um, I don't know. They're, you know, they're they're more into that that stuff that you wouldn't expect them to be. Would mm. that be a turn off for you? For me, no. Yeah. Um, or do you? Would you feel intimidated? I know. I love it when. Um, oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it when you know someone is very like in control of their. Oh, in control. In control of their interests. <laughs> their um, they know their worth. You know, what, you know what I mean, Ooh. right? So if, for example, like, um, a girl Ladies is, listen. yeah, I, listen if, if a girl is like, <laughs> um, I'm good at this, mm -hmm. so and I, and she knows that she knows more about it than than you or than me, you know, she'll be like, no, this is what we will have to do. It's like, yeah, go get it, you know. <laughs> So uh, for our second segment, we want to particularly focus on um, the topic, which is women in STEM. So like what you said, you have you faced many challenges, um, not even in the in the job yet. You know, uh, still in uh, education, mm -hmm. um, and I do I do agree. It's like a normalized thought that like it's fine, like it's fine. Yeah. That it's the boys that has to to play with the computers and the women yeah, has yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to say, yeah. I don't know whether you've seen one of these TED Talks before. I can't remember her name, but she was a, a software engineer and um, she also felt the same way. And so she built a children's toy mm -hmm. and a children's book that encourages girls to unlock their problem solving and uh, logical thinking. Um, it's like, I think the story was like how the woman is able to, to save something by solving certain questions and problems. So I think, uh, I mean, you know, one of the things that I, I, I was gonna mention is that um, if you are part of the STEM uh, industry, be um, bold, and take the opportunity to be a mentor and to join societies if you're in university. And uh, I'm an alumni and I'm part of my university's um, Women in STEM society still. And we have a society called Big Sis and Little Sis. And that whole object, the whole objective of that society is to help. Uh, so I, I, me being a Big Sis, helping the little sisters to find jobs within the industry and also to help them in their degrees and studies and um, also kind of discuss uh, yeah. these kind of things that they, they experience about um, because most of the time they also feel um, 
it, like the the process of interviews are so unfair and because they're a woman and they don't think that they're qualified things like that so um being part of those things means that you're being proactive about it and that you also care about it so yeah no um that, that is really nice to have a support system and it's very helpful um like what you said, especially in the male-dominated careers, a male-dominated industry, it can feel like you're in a foreign land, you know, where it's just like, it's a bit scary. Um, but it's really nice that you're in a support system. Um, yeah. But what we want to know is, um, what other challenges have you had, uh, especially as a woman in STEM, and also what are your experiences, well, you know, with it? Ooh, um, well... Some of the, the the little stories I'd I'd say is that um, if I when I was at work they wouldn't expect me to be the developer, the web developer or the, yeah. the digital analyst, and they're like, huh? Or that I did computer science. They thought I'd be doing like fashion or something. I'm like, yeah, I'm Asian. <laughs> 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 they're like, oh. You're the stereotypical Asian. <laughs> but yeah, no, they would always assume that I'm doing something related to fashion. Because uh, naturally, I mean... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, no, they'd, they'd ask if I was doing um, fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I'd say like, no, I, I did this. Or uh, I'm at work and then they have to do to be in a meeting with me and they don't think I'm technical or that I could I yeah. couldn't answer their question and that that for me is like I think is is horrible and you shouldn't assume yeah. just because they're you know, a woman you know what's funny um so my old job um so for my uh, previous job I was a, a technical coordinator so we have uh we're, coordinate we're, and also a technical support so for like uh, Wi-Fi and stuff. Okay. Um, the first time I joined, um, I was I was surprised because one of my co-workers, she's um, she's I don't want to say, but it's, it will sound mean, but she's middle aged. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like, why is why is she why is she sitting in our like area? I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I admit it. I was like that. And then um, because majority of the people sitting there were like around my age. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I was just like, is she picking up her son or something? <laughs> but no, um, she's actually. Did you ask her? No. Did we, you ask? No, I was just, I was just, we, we just work and then we just figure okay. out. Okay. And yeah, she, no, she's actually a technical support like me. And um, over the years, I became we became good friends. Aww. Uh, and I always we always help each other and stuff with uh, you know any, any technical support. And it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like a kind of like um a lesson for me to like don't judge a book by its cover kind of type of thing, you know. So it's it's really surprising, but I was like really like kind of. Um, inspired or like kind of um, in awe that even though you know she's middle age, she's a woman, but she's in like a woman, a, and and then she's like in a technical support role. Um, it's like you could do what you want, you know. That's why, like I said from earlier, it's it's such a it's re it's amazing for someone to take control of what they want to do in life. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I didn't I did I didn't expect to be in this industry. Mm -hmm. I um I I thought I was going to be an air hostess. You know, I took the British Airways exams. Really? <laughs> I did. I did um the languages too, German um, and French. Can I have the chicken, please? <laughs> <It's Jadel. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> can you get me? Can you get me a bird? A water, please. Can I get a, an extra pillow, please? <laughs> yeah. Can you wake me up? What is this next time? Um, <laughs> can you wake me up when there's food? <laughs> Just like in the podcast with Angel. <laughs> oh, I <damn. laughs> 
Uh, anyways, <laughs> a bit off topic there. But can you tell me what are the good things that you found? Okay. Um, or what maybe benefits or whatever, and as you with your experience. Um, for me, uh, I think I I find satisfaction in that I can prove someone wrong. You know when you know when, I was literally thinking yeah, about that. right right when when you know when they assume something about you and then they were totally wrong because you proved them wrong to me that's like the biggest win that's a, a w you know big w for the day um i think yeah for me that and also to inspire other women and young women to to take up a um, a role in the stem industry too because we need more women in the industry and not just because we have, I think it's because we provide a different perspective. Nice. I like that. Different perspective. So for audience participation, um, unfortunately with Miss Judo Olympio here, um, she had her Instagram de- deactivated so she wasn't able to uh, ask questions. But um, not to worry, because I did, I asked two questions. The first one Ooh, is a poll. I'm so excited. Yeah, so the first one is a poll. I asked you guys, do you know what STEM stands for? So, I'll tell you the results. <gasps> so, for yes, there's actually 65% who said yes. Okay. And 35% who said no. That's still quite high. That's 35%, yeah. you know? Six- 65% who said, yes, they know what STEM stands for, which is good, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll just shout out uh, three each, three people mm-hmm. who said yes, and then three people who said no. Okay. Um, so the one who said yes, um, that they know what STEM stands for, I want to give a shout out to at April and P. Ooh, hello. Woman, woman in STEM. Woman. Hey, April. <laughs> second one, second one, uh, at Janelle dot twenty six. So Janelle, mm-hmm. my friend. A uh, third one, Colleen dot V. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then three people who said no. I hope, <gasps> I hope they get to. I hope, I hope because of this podcast they know what STEM stands for. But that's mm-hmm. number one is, uh, at Great Wall of. Sheena, so she will be my guest soon. So just you know, Ooh, second no one spoiler. is K Charlotte Santos, and the third one is at underscore Chloe Chanel. So up close and Chloe. personal. Chloe, I, Chloe. <laughs> yes, Chloe. Chloe. I hope you know what STEM stands for now. Um, and the second question that I asked is, uh, was, what type of industry do you work in? Oh, okay. Okay. That's quite a lot. Um, as we all know, what industry do you work in, Jadel? I'm in the STEM industry, baby. Mm, I'm in podcast industry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in stay at you home. You could have said industry. entertainment, you know? I'm in stay at home industry. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll mention. We're all staying at home. What are you talking about? I mentioned five people. This one is at d.nra she's in finance oh second one is at zoo.b um she said i'm a student at the moment but i would mm-hmm. like to work in dentistry in the future hopefully See, the finance and dentistry is already in stem stem oh, you're part of the plant so <laughs> third one at x jasmine She's an executive search. Not many people know what that is. To be fair, I didn't do law. I didn't know what executive search is, but good for you. Good for you. Um, the four, fourth one, right? Mm-hmm. Fourth, fourth one is at Angel QSPIR2. She said she's in technology finance. There we go. Technology. Another Sam, baby. So her, her, her companies in technology but she's in the finance department oh there um, we go see and then the last one is that the underscore super dupes super dupes baby creative super dupes 
C. Okay, yeah. so, but even know. that, even that industry, you know, um, they they feel that there's more women in the creative side than more than like. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's another like area of industry that where there's a gender gap. Yeah, we, we need to eliminate this uh, gaps. But for me, I'm OK at home, so I don't care what you guys do. <laughs> I'm I'm hold joking. on, hold on. By being part of the podcast, entertainment <laughs> there you go. and <laughs> tech. <laughs> Oh. I'm in the food industry, Darwin's Kitchen. <laughs> oh, Darwin's Kitchen. But I'm and I'm the... getting a personal delivery to oh. Sino. Well. <laughs> so for our top recommendation, as you know, we'd like to recommend anything to you guys for this week. It can be a book, an app, a person, whatever it is. Um, I'll go ahead with my one because I do believe you have two, right? Mm-hmm. So my my top recommendation for this week is a person, an Ooh. artist spe- specifically. Um, her name is Statler, um, but her Instagram is t t l r dot paintings. I do believe. So she makes these um glass painting. Oh, they're beautiful. I want to give you an example. Hold on. Oh, I want to see. Um, I actually like. Uh, got rid of the white paper at the back, but like, here's an example. <gasps> it's that looks so cute, and it's from right? One Piece. It's beautiful. So she does. Um, I do believe her commission is currently closed, but hopefully, um, someday soon she she will reopen. Um, I actually ordered a karaoke. Um, oh, is she doing all anime? Um, anime. I think. Anime, cartoons, different. Ooh, I'm, I want to get like a bunny girl sent by. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you'd like to uh, check her art or check her stuff, go to her Instagram. So I highly recommend. Um, and Ooh. special thank you, Tatler, uh, for your amazing work. And I to- totally support you. Um, so, yeah. Um, Jida, what's yours? Okay, so I have two. One is a skincare. So I'm not sure whether you guys can see this, but this is like the holy grail for anyone that wants to uh, smoothen their pores. This was for me changed my life. This is a BHA liquid exfoliant, and it unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores, and smooths an even skin tone. And it's lightweight and it absorbs quickly. So it's from Paula's Choice and I use it every day, every morning, every night. You know what's cool? So Paula's Choice Instagram actually featured one of my guests from before. <gasps> no way! Her, na- uh, her name was Angel Espiritu. Oh, She got actually featured in their Instagram. So yeah, shout out to you, Angel. <laughs> oh, yeah, girl. So yeah, what's your second one? The second one is um, I'm a big um, fan of cooking at home. I'm like my own little chef. So um, there is this recipe that I want everyone to um, try, which is the oven ratatouille. I'm not sure whether you guys have seen it in my story before, but I used to make uh, oven ratatouille. And all you need it's like vegan. You don't need meat with it. And it's amazing. It has zucchini or a courgette, eggplant or uh, aubergine, bell pepper, onion, garlic, lemon, uh, ro- rosemary, crushed tomatoes, vinegar, olive oil, feta cheese, salt and pepper. And it looks like this. Oh, wow. Okay. And I promise you, it's amazing. So when I come visit you, you can make that for me. Oh, hell yeah. (laughs) Uh, So my quote uh, for the day is, positivity is a superpower. That's my quote of the week. And I was going to say the reason why is because one related to to STEM and people that are probably in the same shoes as me uh, and want to work their way up, but are scared because of um, being a woman um, is just, to think positive and let your actions do the work you know work hard 
and um, seek the respect that you want by being the hard worker you are and show them that um, so that yeah that for me would be um, and also for those that are students and are probably wanting and inspiring to graduate in the computer science degree at the start it's really difficult like learning a new learning code is like learning a new language so you know it will take time but I promise you and I oh, I said this to Kent that um, the one day it will click it will click and it will make sense so that's it for our episode for the day. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, we hope you liked it. And we hope that you have learned something. You finally figured out what STEM stands for. Um, very special thank you to our very beautiful guest, <laughs> Jadelle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. Um, I know you're in a different country because I can see it's very, it's very, it's like daylight where you are at the moment i know i know i'm in america right now <laughs> <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for guesting i'm so happy i know she was complaining she was like why why am i so far you know when i said it's march <gasps> she, was like, she was like why am i in march you know i was like don't worry time flies and you know here we and go. it did baby <laughs> Here we are. Um, yeah, do you want to shout out anyone or shout out if you have a social media? Oh, I don't have a social media, but I would like to shout out the Pogi May Cry team. Uh, so, uh, EJ, Q Joel, I know you're an outsider sometimes because, you know, you got a baby coming. Um, Carl, Kent, my brother. You guys don't know which one though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Calvin, uh, Aaron, uh, Ikai. I don't know whether she wants to be called Ikai though. So Eli, I think. I don't know. Yeah. So the Poggy May Cry team. And also Justin. Justin. <laughs> just forgot about Justin. <laughs> I what about his bed? Did you just forget about his bed? Oh, his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Just in this bed. You're no, you're part of the beer pokey. You're the pokey. You're you. You make the pokey. All yeah. right. It was we late. cry. You pokey. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any other shout outs? Um, shout out to my mom for letting me stay at her house <laughs> <laughs> and cooking me food and bringing me coffee during my meetings. Because I'm, I'm busy every day and all day, 24-7. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Jadeau. And thank you, everyone, for your continuous support uh, for this podcast. Uh, for those who are s- still sticking and still going through, um, thank you. Uh, I don't have that much episodes left, but I hope you stick to the end. Maybe we can do a little giveaway sponsored by Jadeau. Oh, okay. Um, which one do we do? <gasps> what do we get them to do? Oh my gosh. Your picture with your <laughs> autograph. Oh no, no, no. We can make them like solve a riddle or something. Or like solve a code. <laughs> you can tell she's from STEM. <laughs> 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 Anyways, if you'd like to um, participate in my audience questions, um, follow me on Instagram at Making Sense with Calvinio or Become a patron at patreon.com forward slash making sense with Calvinio. As always, we hope that you tune in again next Monday. And um, yeah, so see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> by, by the way, P.S., if you want to um, know more about Jido, just just message me. Message, comment, comment below. And maybe she'll <laughs> maybe she'll reactivate her Instagram. <laughs> <laughs>